Hey everyone, I am so excited that tomorrow we get a chance to do yoga live from South Africa in Cape Town. When I tell you I'm elated that this is my first time doing this live from a completely different country, I'm so excited. I'm so happy that you decided to join me on this journey and I can't wait to experience it with you. I'm doing it fresh. So tomorrow, our first session will be during sunset in Cape Town because it's going to be around 12 p.m. Your time on the East Coast time or whatever time zone you're in. So I just wanted to make sure that no matter where you are, you can join it at that time. Um, I just wanted to make sure that I have it. So that's that session. And then on Saturday, you have an additional opportunity to join us. And for morning, before we get started with our day, we're going to do some yoga and then just go and head on out. So that'll be at 5 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So I am just super excited and elated that you all get to join me. I am excited that um, I'm in a completely different country and that I'm not, I did not believe that I would ever see this day. So as you can see, there's a little bit back there you can see in the reflection of the mirror that it is a beautiful city, a beautiful country. And I wanted to show you all a little bit more behind the scenes. However, I just have been enjoying and basking in the presence so much. I didn't want to um, take away from that. So you'll be able to see tomorrow evening, it'll be on these premises that we're in. We're like a mansion in South Africa, just for security purposes. <laughs> Not telling anybody exactly where we are, but we're in South Africa on the top of the, or on the top of the mountain in Cape Town. Definitely beautiful, definitely pretty. Oh, it's gorgeous. I cannot wait to show you all um, where we're gonna be doing yoga from on the lawn. Um, prayerfully, there are no baboons that come out here because this property, they said that, um, baboons is a problem. So <laughs> let us pray. <laughs> but other than that, um, I just can't wait to stretch, release, and do this session with you all. So I started doing yoga because it was something, I really needed something to help me, oops, sorry, center myself. <laughs> to center myself to uh get back in touch with me because there have been times and there have been uh there have been moments where I just haven't felt clear and I've been anxious and so yoga has been one of those things that has helped me not cure my anxiety but more so manage it in a better way so when I'm coming to my mat that's when I'll zen out and so I really want people to experience that especially within the black culture a lot of people don't really practice yoga um just the, i know and it's usually based off of either unawareness or it's based out of religious um reasoning of why you don't do it so which is completely understandable um you know not practicing something that you really don't know the origin behind and so um which makes complete sense but i hope that you take away from this session um, to find a little bit of peace on your mat, to find a little bit of groundedness, and you'll um, learn a little bit more about yourself when you come to your mat. And so when you come to your mat, that's a way of showing up for yourself. That's a way of saying, hey, I'm here for me. I'm here to connect with me. I'm here to talk to spirit. Your spirit can be Jesus, Holy Spirit, yourself, whoever that is, um, just to hear. Because um, sometimes with all the busyness of the world, um, we just don't sit still. And so that's what my practice or what I will bring to the practice is definitely that stillness. I love slow posture yoga, also known as yin yoga, um, where you hold poses for a little bit of uh, maybe five to six minutes. Usually I'm listening to soulful music. I'll have some uh, transformational music that you'll be new. It'll be new to you, but I hope that you enjoy it and that you um, value the difference <laughs> of music. So it's not something that you have to listen to all the time, but it's something that definitely will get you in the mode of thinking, releasing, and just being present. And so I'm excited. I can't wait for you to join me again tomorrow. It'll be sun. The sun will be setting in Africa. And then also on Saturday, we will do our morning yoga and then we'll get um, started on with our day. So you all have a little bit more content versus, uh, you know, the whole world. They're just seeing, you know, shots like, oh, you know, random shots of me in Africa. You all get a chance to, you know, hear firsthand why I'm doing this what I'm doing this for, who this is for. And this is for, I would say mostly women. Most of my followers are women. So this is definitely for women of color. Um, 
I just, I'm a woman of color, so I know you, I speak to you, I understand you. <laughs> like, I understand what you're going through. Like, you know, you're working hard, you feel stressed out, you know, you just, sometimes you're waiting for your next step or you're looking for, you know, your next, I would say your next word. You're waiting for, you know, that next transitional phase. You're waiting for, you know, to hear from God. And it's just like, hey, I'm on edge. And so for a way for you to just chill out, get back to your center, bring it to your mat, slow down hear from God and you'll get it. So yeah. So I hope you all enjoy it. Um, again, who it's for, why I'm doing it <laughs> and how it will benefit you. It's all up in there, all up in there. So yeah, I can't wait to show you all the amazing views. Talk to you soon. Peace. Love y'all. Remember, do it for yourself. All right. Bye.